Hey guys, what's up? You're watching iGAN and today we're checking out the Doji Mix. So let's get started. The Doji Mix is a replica of the Xiaomi Mix and it costs only $180. If you take a look at the box, the box also looks like a mini version of the Xiaomi Mix. But let's quickly go ahead and unbox it. First thing inside the box is the Doji Mix itself. Now it's protected in this plastic wrap. I'm going to get rid of that. You can see it's got a glass back as well as a full glass front. The display on this is pretty interesting. I'm going to look at that in just a minute. If you go further in, we've got some documentation, which thankfully is in English. And you've got all the details about the phone in there. You also get a warranty certificate along with some screen protectors. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but this looks like a wrapper of something that is not PG friendly, but it should be. It says stick it in the hole and feel the world. Double meanings everywhere, but inside is an eye ring. Essentially what this allows you to do is attach it at the back of the phone and then you can hold the phone comfortably in your hand without it slipping off. So if you're one of those people who drops their phone a lot, this can come in handy. Also inside the box is a charger. Now this is a five volt, two amp charger. You also get a SIM ejector pin along with the standard USB to micro USB cable. And that's basically everything from the box. Apart from this snap on back cover, which is a skeleton style shell, it's in a matte soft touch finish and it feels really nice. Let's take a look at the device itself. I'm going to get rid of the packaging from the front. So I'm going to get rid of this plastic wrapper. There is a screen protector pre-installed on the device, although they've not done a pretty good job of it, but there is one pre-installed. If I turn over the device towards the back, there is also a screen protector installed on the back. So if I remove this plastic packaging, there's a screen protector on there, but here also they've not done a good job and they've left a bubble on the screen protector. You also have some protection over at the dual lenses. Let's quickly take a look at the device itself. So at the front top, you have the earpiece and just below that is the display. Now the display is interesting because it's a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display made by Samsung, but it has a resolution of only 1280 by 720 pixels. It's got a total pixel density of 294 and a screen to body ratio of 93%, which is again, quite interesting. Now below that you have the fingerprint scanner along with the front camera, which is a five megapixel F2.2 camera, which does have an 86 degree wide angle. Now, if you compare it to the Xiaomi Mix, the design of the phone is quite identical. Although the Xiaomi Mix doesn't have a fingerprint scanner at the front, but the camera location and the way the display is, is quite identical. Now over at the bottom of the device, you'll see the micro USB charging port along with the dual grills. One I'm assuming is for the speaker while the other is for the microphone. Over at the right is where your power button along with your volume buttons are. And you'll see this matte finish ridge around the device along the frame. It feels really nice. Over at the top is the 3.5 mm headphone jack and over at the left is the dual SIM tray. You can pop in two SIM cards or a micro SD card in there. Now over at the back is the 16 megapixel plus 8 megapixel setup. It does have an F2 aperture and they are Samsung ISOCELL cameras and they do have face detect autofocus along with electronic image stabilization. Now here's where it gets interesting. For a price of only $180 or approximately 12,000 Indian rupees, the device does have six gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of onboard storage. And you do get the Helio P25 octa-core chipset, which is a 2.5 gigahertz chipset. You also get the Mali T880 GPU and the device can take in up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, interestingly, the device does run Android 7 out of the box, but it does have a whole lot of customizations that are on the user interface that tend to interfere with your daily usage. So you do have this blink feed or flipboard sort of layout over at the left of the main home screen. And then you have this pull down notification shade, which sort of gives you themes. Then you have this bubble that you can tap to enable another menu, and then you can pull from the right to enable another menu. The good thing about the interface is that you can go into the settings and turn all of these things off to get a really stock-like Android user interface. And once you do that, the interface is really fast and responsive, and then you can go on about your business. If you like any of the things that are there, you can enable them and use them according to your requirements. You have a whole bunch of gestures that you can set up. You can launch applications from the lock screen. You can do a whole bunch of things with this device, and I'm gonna look into that in depth once I get into checking out the device. Now, as far as the cameras are concerned, they seem to be pretty good 
for the kind of phone and the price of the phone it is you do have depth effect you do have a portrait mode sort of thing going on over here but interestingly it seems that only one of the cameras is working and both the cameras are not working now whether this is a hardware flaw or a software flaw i'm gonna have to see that a little bit later there are two sensors in there but one of them doesn't seem to be working even when i do the 2x zoom so i'm not too sure what's going on with that the device does capture 4k video and it does have electronic image stabilization in 4k video which even the big guys don't do nowadays now there is a 3380 milliamp hour battery that is built in and not replaceable and the fingerprint scanner is pretty fast and responsive and once you have your fingers registered it almost instantly opens up the device again for the price the doji mix offers a whole lot of hardware for a really really low price the build quality on the phone also seems supreme and one of the main reasons for that is that it does have Gorilla Glass over at the front as well as the back. And it's not just any Gorilla Glass, it's Gorilla Glass 5. So they've got the latest Gorilla Glass on the front as well as the back. Now of course we're going to be reviewing this device in depth if you guys want that. So that will happen in a couple of days. If you have any special requests for this device, do drop them in the comment section below. And you can go check us out on iGAN.in. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. You can also check out the two giveaways that are going on right now to take part in them if you're interested. This has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching.